Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name's Lainey. What's up? Today we're going to be going through my Depop likes, exposing them, letting you guys purchase them, and me being upset later on if they're gone when I go back to decide to buy them or not. Th these are my saves, so they're actually private because I don't want anybody to see them because I'm still thinking about purchasing them. And now I'm going to share them with all of my YouTube followers, so I love you guys. Only you guys can see them. Before we get into this video though, I wanted to say thank you so much to Hungry Root for sponsoring. I'm going to feed you guys with some deep hop listings but hungry root has been feeding me every day let's do this <laughs> what if i just get too excited on here and then i'm like you know what i'm talking it up i am gonna buy it i won't do that let's go to my deep hop my deep hop is just Laney 798 I'm sure you could just search Laney Ozark and I come up. My profile picture is literally from like 2019 and it's so cringy and embarrassing. I might change it right now. I'm changing my picture because now I'm embarrassed by it. Yeah, I feel better about this photo. I printed this photo and we're gonna hang it in our living room really big. <laughs> and I know Brandon's gonna be so mad at me. I didn't tell him, but I think it'll be funny. Okay, sorry. I feel like only like my subscribers are gonna watch this video, so I feel like I'm gonna be unhinged. I saved this little top this summer. This seems so basic and for $30 it does seem like a lot and I can kind of see why it was listed five months ago and nobody bought it but I feel like this in the summertime is just gonna be so cute I feel like collars are so in right now and are just gonna be even bigger and bigger as we go on it's funny because that feels like such like a 2015 thing collars on these little shirts and now it's like coming back but I think this one's really cute it's like a little bit of an elevated version of a t-shirt so kind of boring but I wanted to go down and will go up. Okay, this little jumpsuit is from Zara. It's, she put five, they put 5% off. I don't know why, that's just like comical to me. I think it's so stinking cute though. It's like very 60s, almost looks like a swimsuit. Like I want a little bike tarred swimsuit. Okay, what do they, biker short? romper i feel like that's what people call them now in dance when you would have a leotard with little shorts attached it was called a bike tard so that's what this is looks like to me but i think that this would be so cute in the summertime i could see myself buying this if it gets closer to summer and it's still available yeah they just made it five percent off two days ago but it's from zara originally so like i don't know that is kind of wishy-washy but I could totally see myself wearing this all the time in the summer. Don't buy it. I want it. Maybe I didn't get it because it's a size medium, but I think that'd be fine, honestly. These little hair scrunchies are so cute if you like the Sandy Liang ones. This person literally has a thousand likes on this. 25 bucks for a little flower hair scrunchie, like put it over your bun like this and it's the cutest accessory. I should have picked these up, honestly, for Christmas. She just makes them um, custom, so you get to say what color you want. I think the red is so freaking cute. Gingham, black could be basic. They're really, really cute. And I think the Sandy Lang ones are like 100 bucks. And this girl's just hand making them, so amazing. Next, <laughs> I must have just like searched Sandy Lang one day. These are little like terry cloth sandy Liang biker shorts but for some reason they're so cute to me i just can't imagine what the fit is i would have to find that i want to know if they're like tight i guess because they're bike shorts they're tight the stripes are just so good the colors are good and i could see myself wearing these all summer uh they're 65 bucks though so that's why i didn't purchase them and i don't really care that they're sandy Liang. i just want a little pair of biker shorts striped biker shorts i think that's really cute like you guys all know i wear that uh, peachy den set with the little gingham bike shorts i'm into like a pattern bike short for the summertime yeah I could see wearing this with just like a t-shirt or like a tighter tank top very cute okay next thing this is so random but I would just like love ruffles like this and honestly this kind of tie this kind of top is so flattering I had that um tank top one that I've worn a million and four times and I sold it regrettably this is like a cuter you know fall winter version uh, pairing this with a pair of jeans, like sambas or a pair of boots. You could do jean shorts if it's warmer outside. Like you can wear this in a warmer weather or cooler weather because it just seems like thin and cozy. And you could do like a really high neck top underneath it, a t-shirt, tank top. I didn't know I was giving style advice for all these. Like this is such an easy thing to style because you don't really have to style it. It's good. I think I would have gotten it if it was in black. And it's only 25 bucks. Most of these I would have bought. I find two things on somebody's shop, I've said this before, and they have bundles that I'm definitely checking out. But if I find one thing and then I go and check out the rest of the store and I can't find a second thing, I'm like, oh, yes, I can't get that first thing unless I'm like absolutely obsessed with it. Okay, these little sunglasses. Okay, these are 23 bucks, which honestly is kind of a lot. And I don't know where this person gets their sunglasses, but they were just like a really cute shape and I thought they were adorable. Okay, also they're 
UV 400 and I don't know if you guys know this anything over UV 100 is actually bad for your eyes so I wouldn't buy these but it's a good shape I'll show you the shape these I was never really gonna buy they're listed for a million dollars now and they're also a US nine and a half and I'm an eight, eight and a half. But I just kind of saved them for like reference and to tell the Depop bots what I like to show on my like what you might like, you know? Um, I really like shoes where the laces go down to the toes. I'll have another pair that I'm going to show you. And I just thought the red laces were really cool on the suede. It was just like giving me ideas of, you know, changing laces on my shoes or something like that. But I think these shoes are cool. A million dollars though, I don't know. That might be a little bit expensive. The way this person is wearing these boots makes me not like them. I just, the first position is making them look very like berries and cream. And these shoes look like they could be very, very, very berries and cream. But I also think they could be so good. I feel like they just did not do justice with those first couple photos because the next photos look so good. I just want to find other photos online of these. I think just like those two buckles on the toe. I love a shoe right now where like the embellishment is so far down on the toe. I think these are really Really cute. They're Prada, eight and a half, so they're my size, but they're $485 because they're Prada, obviously. But I like the like low heel. They just seem like they could be very um, wearable, like wearing it with, you know, baggy jeans and stuff like that because the embellishment's on the toe. So you see, you can still see it with your baggy jeans. I don't think I would wear these with shorts or skirts or like even dresses, the only like super maxi dresses, honestly, because I don't really like an ankle boot like this. I'm going to eat my words in a second. So for that reason, like they don't seem justifiable to, justifiable to me. I don't know. I would have to try them on, honestly, in person. So maybe I'll look them up more. Probably not. These, I just wanted to save them for the brand and the style is really, really cute, honestly. But I'm just not into like a brown suede. I just know I won't wear it, but I think these shoes are so cute. I wanted to look up the brand. They're my size. They're $350, eight and a half. Originally $1,150 though, so <laughs> I won't be looking up the brand. They're just really pretty shoes. I just don't like the color. But I love the laces down the toe. They look like the um, Reformation by Far collab. I can put them here. I remember when Ashley Best Dress got those. I was obsessed with them. This little bag is so cute. It's a felted purse. And I always talk about how I'm like into a little top. I don't always. I've been talking about how I'm into like a top handle bag. It's 50 bucks, which kind of feels like a lot, quite honestly. So maybe that's why I was very not even thinking about buying this. But I love the colors. I love red and pink together and like burgundy purple. So cute. And I could just imagine like, you know, holding the top and then even like folding it over and wearing it like a clutch. I imagine this bag has like a little bit of floppiness to it and you could fold it over like a clutch. I think it's really cute, kind of expensive. This bag, if nobody buys it after a week of this video being up, I might purchase it because I've been so into one, a bucket bag. I've got mine right here. I'm gonna film a what's in my bag, I think for you guys. I love that one. I love my like Birkin basket. The only reason I don't wear my Birkin basket right now is because it doesn't have like a crossbody, And like, sometimes I need that when, you know, juggling a child. But this bag has it all. It's from Stout. It's $115. So it's like literally not even horrible. I live, I love the burgundy color. I love the contrast stitching it feels like a bag you can wear in the summertime and also the winter time and I just love a bucket bag and it obviously doesn't close at the top so I feel like if you live in New York or something like pickpocket it probably wouldn't be smart but I like it a lot that's like one very I might get it on my list thank you again to hungry root for sponsoring this video i personally love hungry root because i don't have a lot of like specialty grocery stores near me a lot of the food options that i get from hungry root are things i would never ever be able to find at grocery stores when you go on hungry root you're able to customize it to your dietary needs i eat a vegetarian diet it's really easy to make sure that everything i am getting is vegetarian something else that's really important to me right now is saving time i've only got so so many honestly minutes that I can prepare a meal for myself and my baby and with hungry root customers say that they save around five hours per week without the stress of groceries and meal planning also on hungry root you can pick out how much like cooking you want to do based on the items you receive so I always choose the least amount of cooking and the meals are still great other meal kits it's a lot of prep time hungry root just takes into account when you say you don't want to 
do all that prep. This isn't my first time using Hungry Root. I've gotten the box in the past and will continue to get the box because again, I just love the simplicity and the ease of knowing that my groceries are coming. The first 100 people to use my code, Amy40, will get 40% off your first grocery order. You can use the link in the description box or again, go to hungryroot.com and use my code Lainey40 for 40% off. Honestly, if you're going to buy groceries anyways, you might as well use this code. It's 40% off groceries you'd already be getting. So thank you again to Hungry Root for sponsoring this video. Let's get into the rest of it. Okay, these are little vintage sunglasses. These are true vintage, so I like this shop a little bit better. They have bundles. Choose any two for 20 or buy two and get a third one free. That's a good steal makes you just want to get two because these glasses are $18. They're a little blue tint and they're just a really cute, like more narrow glass. And they just feel like the perfect thing to accessorize. I'm very into those. I might come back to that shop. Okay, next, I think that this dress is beautiful and it's only $22. I'm so into polka dots right now. You guys know I thrift or got on whatnot, a little polka dot mini skirt, midi skirt. But I think that this dress is adorable with the tool on the bottom. It's a halter neck, so cute. I got a little swimsuit from whatnot and it's like a vintage polka dot like dress swimsuit. It's so cute. I wanna wear it like out and about. I know never did last summer, but maybe I will this summer. I actually would wear it to, I was taking my daughter to swim lessons and I would be stunting in my vintage uh, polka dot dress, which was really funny. But yeah, this is 22 bucks. I think it's really, really, really cute. I feel like halters are just gonna be so in this summer. Um, I didn't say that in my trend prediction, but I'm saying it here. I didn't say it in my trend prediction because I kind of feel like halters are already big and I didn't want people to be like, those are already here. This shop, what is it? Sunday Vintage LA. They have amazing pieces for really, really good prices. These little shoes are a size 38 and a half. I don't remember what that translates to uh, for US. Oh, eight and a half says right there. So they're my size and they're super, super cute. I just like don't need another pair of mules, but I thought the little cutouts were adorable. And I like do want a pair of kitten heels that are closed toe because all my kitten heels are, all of mine, I think I have one pair. My one pair of kitten heels are Mew Mew, but they're like sandals. And I think a closed toe pair would be really cute. And these colors are kind of fun. So I was thinking about it, 165 bucks. Like, yeah, that's expensive. Considering my Mew Mew ones, I got in person and they were 30, so. Okay, these boots, I have no intention of buying, but I thought you guys would like them because they look a lot like my, my black boots that I wear all the time that you guys always, 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 always have questions about. So these are Stuart Weitzman and they're 75 bucks. That seems like such a steal. Isn't Stuart Weitzman like super expensive? They've just got like a good heel, a small heel, and the toe is a perfect like point and square toe at the same time, which is something I really like in a boot. So I love, 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 love those. I want to show you. And this one, again, I didn't think I, I'm not going to buy it, honestly, but it's so beautiful <laughs> if you have a place to go. I think it's so stinking pretty. It's a Vivian Westwood dress and it's this like eyelet material, which makes it a bit confusing. Oh my God. But if you have like a summer wedding that's like outside, like a garden party or something, who the a garden party, I don't know, but that's the vibe it gives. It is beautiful. It is $485, but I look at it and it literally looks like thousands of dollars to me. Like it looks so expensive and it's so pretty. What size is it? A size medium. And it's a beautiful sage color. Again, it's Vivian Westwood. Like it's so good, everything about it. I just want to like go and try it on and like dance around in it and take a picture. Oh, I wish there were good thrift stores by me to just go and try on like designer things and go home. <laughs> I don't need this dress at all, but yeah. Maybe I do actually. Oh my God, this with a good pair of kitten heels. I think that's so cute. Oh, it'll make me throw up. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was just like fun, honestly, to go through my likes and saves and talk about them with you guys. Remember to check out Hungry Root. Thank you again to Hungry Root for sponsoring this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. Use the link in the description box to check out Hungry Root. Forgot to say that. And I'll see you in a few days. I love you. Bye.